This video is an introduction to our section on modeling with quadratic equations. We are moving beyond linear growth and in models and investigating quadratic growth and models. A quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Notice the x squared in the equation, which is what tells us we have a quadratic equation. And because of this, we'll need some new algebra skills. In order to solve a quadratic equation in this form, we have to use the quadratic formula, which you can see here as well. It looks intimidating, but it's just a matter of plugging the right values in the right places and doing some careful simplifying. Notice if your equation's in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, you can identify your a, b, and c by noticing that a is the number multiplied with the x squared, b is the number being multiplied with x, and c is the number without any x's at all. We'll use that a, b, and c term in the quadratic formula, as well as the vertex formula, which we'll look at in just a second. The graph of a quadratic is called a parabola, and you can see two examples of parabolas in this graphic on the right. They come in two main flavors, opening upwards like the blue parabola, or opening downwards like the red one. You can easily tell which uh, type you have by looking at the equation and identifying the sign of the a term, that is the number with the x squared. If a is positive, it opens upwards. If negative, it opens down. The most important point on a parabola is called the vertex, and you can see depending on if it opens up or down, the vertex is either the lowest point or the highest point on the parabola. You can find the vertex using this vertex formula, x equals minus b over 2a. Notice this is only the x-coordinate, so to find the y-coordinate, you must plug the x-coordinate into the equation and calculate the y separately. If you picture the behavior of a parabola, you can see we will use quadratic equations to model quantities that rise to a maximum value and then fall again, or the reverse, quantities that drop to a minimum value and then rise again. A common example of the former are projectiles and falling objects. Imagine a cannonball fired up into the air. We could measure its height at different times and model it with a quadratic equation, and then use that model to predict things like, what's the maximum height that the cannonball reaches before falling back down? Or how long until the cannonball strikes the ground? That first question involves finding a maximum, so we could use the vertex formula to find the vertex. The second question involves solving a quadratic equation, so we would need to use the quadratic formula. We'll go into more detail on these uh, in the video lecture for this section. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.